I do know about punk music in the early 90s because that's when I was in college and was totally getting consumed in it. I went to college at USC and I worked as a radio DJ at WUSC. When I got there, I found out that there was so much more than I had known about prior to coming. I, mean, I was always a huge Clash fan, Sex Pistols, Ramones, but when I got to college, I found out that there was a whole culture surrounding labels, Lookout Records, and they were based in Berkeley, California, and primarily around this area in Oakland called Gilman Street. And it was a bar concert venue, just a small place, and that's where Green Day started and all of that built. Another label around that same time was called Broken Records. Those two, I believe it was Broken Records and Lookout Records, were really the primarily popular ones. And so Green Day was, I guess, high school kids, and it was all three chord songs. If you look back at Ramones' first album, so much of that stuff sounds just like the Ramones. It's three chords, power chords, sing-along, um, in fact, the Queers, they totally redid the first Ramones album and released it as one of their own. And it was just called The Queers, and it was all the same songs. And that shows how much of an influence Ramones had. You gotta keep them separated. A lot of these songs sounded the same, but I just couldn't get enough of it. So I would look and I noticed that a lot of people, it wasn't a band that you like, they liked the catalog of the record label. And I thought it was pretty interesting. Back then, if you look from the 90s, the Lookout catalog, all of those bands sound the same. The songs are about girls. In fact, Mr. T Experience, which was one of my favorite ones, Dr. Frank is the lead singer and he came to Columbia, and before every song he said, all right, this song is about a girl. And it was funny because all of their songs are about teenage breaking up and romance. Do you have the time to listen to me? Slowly, that infiltrated the West Coast and then started coming over here. And in fact, Green Day played in Five Points. They came and, of course, all these punks that knew about them, they packed the place and you, know, you couldn't stand in there. It was a lot of this stuff like bands would tour and then they would bring their catalog. People would buy the cassettes or CDs at the show and then expand it from there. And then, of course, back then it was before internet, so when a band was touring the country, it was pretty neat because people in Texas would go see Green Day and say, wow, this is amazing, they're, they're great. And so they would call their friends in Alabama, wherever Green Day was going next, and you would have this underground movement of music fans that would support it that way. And so through constant touring, it finally picked up. And her brothers was the one that signed the major label for Green Day. Um, and they, they understood this band has something going for them, and so signed them, and then it, of course, it came to the masses. I'm going for a walk. That's when I started kind of getting out of it a little bit. And a lot of that was because the internet had come about. And you, it was just sensory overload with the bands because you could just go on, look up, and just find so many. And then of course, also at that time, the music labels had noticed that is to sign these popular underground bands Ah, uh, they're just a sellout, it's just a band manufactured to make money, um, which I understand now, so being a little bit older, that it's all about the money. 
but back then, of course, when you're a music fan, you don't want to see these really popular bands. It became a whole different thing where all the file sharing on the internet totally dipped into some of the band's pockets as it is now. And what they do to make money is they had to tour. So the late 90s was better for live music because in order to make money, you couldn't just stay in your garage and sell records. You had to go out on tour, sell things to the masses, and sell t-shirts. Yes, you feel washed up like